But first, four people are dead after an early morning shooting on Tucson's west side. We're at the scene with an update on the investigation. Thank you for joining us. I'm Shandrea Thomas. 88, that's the number of homicides Tucson has seen so far this year, and four of them happened after a shooting broke out early this morning in a mobile home park on Ajo Way. Now, New York Times Megan Meyer is in West Tucson with the latest details from the scene. I'm here outside a neighborhood near Ajo and Mission. Law enforcement have been in and out of this area all day today, trying to put the pieces together and figure out exactly what led up to the death of four people. I started hearing shootings. It was a sleepless night for neighbors who live in and around Plaza del Sol. It sounded like fireworks, but it came to be not that. It was just all fight, you know, the hands of the guns. Police say they received calls of shots fired from a home at 1655 West Ajo Way just before 1 a.m. on Sunday. When they arrived on scene, they found a man lying in the street with gunshot wounds. After rendering aid, he was confirmed dead. Inside the home, police found two other men dead with gunshot wounds. Another man was badly injured and later died at Banner University. It's the most scariest thing because this is not my first uh, incident back here. Um, years ago, I did have a bullet go through my house and um, and it's just been nonstop back in this area. The owner of the home where the men were found spoke to police, saying a group showed up at their door, confronted them and shots were fired. Police say others were at the house at the time of the shooting and some fled the scene. You can never know what you're waking up to, no matter what neighborhood you're in. It's everywhere. Police made markings on the side of this home where there appears to be bullet holes. A number of vehicles were also towed away. A neighbor I spoke to has lived here for 19 years and says this neighborhood isn't what it used to be. Children will always play down the streets at odd hours, family members watching over them, neighbors watching over the children, and now we don't even see the children at all because incidents like this happens. You can never know where those bullets are going. Police say they will not be releasing any other details at this time. Anyone with information is being asked to come forward. You can call 911 or 88 crime. From the west side, Megan Meyer, Kaga 9 on your side. Here's a look at some information about homicides in the city of Tucson. This year, as we've mentioned, the city reached 88 homicides according to TPD. Now that's nine more than a previous record of 79 homicides set back in 2008. And there are still 47 days left in the year. In 2020, there were 69 homicides total in Tucson.